Hey guys, welcome to Rubrotech tutorial and in this chapter 19 of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Kerma, we are going to look at HTTP clients. Objective of this video is to understand how to unit test the HTTP client and in this one, we are going to execute three specific test cases. First one is to test the get method, then is to test the post method. And the third unit test case will be for testing the errors of HTTP request. Now, before we move ahead with our actual testing code, I want you to introduce you to some of the modules and the controllers or the objects that we are going to use. Now, the first one is the HTTP client testing module. It is used for testing the HTTP methods using HTTP client. So, instead of using the HTTP client module that we use for writing the HTTP request or the AJAX request, we are going to use a specialized module that is specifically created to unit test the HTTP request and that is HTTP client testing module and this module injects a special controller called HTTP testing controller that allows us to mock and flush the request. This controller that is the HTTP testing controller is injected into the test that allows for mocking and flushing of the request. That means it will help us to mock whatever the data is sent and responded back along with the mocking of the HTTP request. In this case, you don't have to actually write the backend or actually call the backend using our HTTP client module. So this HTTP testing controller will help us to mock the request and also mock the response, helping us to test our HTTP request easily and it has following four methods. First one is expect one. This expects a single request made matching the given URL present in its parenthesis and it returns the mocked data. Then is the expect none. This expects that no request has been made from the given URL. And the third one is the match. The match function without any expectation searches for the request given in the parameters or the URL given in the parameter. Then is the verify method. This method verifies that there is no unmatched request outstanding. That means there is no pending request there and we can move ahead with our testing. And the next object is the test request object. The test request object mocks the request that is received and is ready to be answered and it has following methods first is flushed which resolves the request by returning the body and additional http information like the status or the error message if the error is there then there is error method which resolves the request by returning an error event the third method is the event which returns an arbitrary HTTP event. It also has certain properties. First one is cancel, which checks whether the request is cancelled or not. And the next property is the request, which is a type of HTTP request object. Now, let's go and see our code that will help us to understand how the HTTP requests are tested. Now, before we move ahead, I wanted you to show a website jsonplaceholder.typecode.com now this json placeholder website is a web website that help us to mock certain data like the post or comments users that kind of data can be mocked and we can directly use this website to get the mocked response from this website we can make get request post request put request or delete request to this particular URL uh, that I have used in our examples and this website has a lot of resources that are available like the post, comments, albums, photos, to do's and users and it has a lot of ways by which we can get the information from the dummy data provided by this website that is the JSON placeholder. Now coming to our code so this is the HTTP data service that I have written. This service will help us to get the data 
from the JSON placeholder typecode.com. Now here I have taken it as the base URL and I have also included HTTP client. Now when you are using the HTTP client, don't forget to include the HTTP client module in your app module.ts. Then there is a method return here which is get post list. Now this get post list is getting me the information from the base URL and post. So this will be returning me the information about the post. Then is the add post method. So this add post method will help me to put or to add new post to the database. Now that I have achieved using the post method and base URL post. I have also added a dummy post and this is written in the HTML. So I am creating a dummy post and putting it using the post method. Now here you can see I have created a post model. This is a class that has all the information that is present on the JSON placeholders website. The user ID, ID name, title and the body. Then coming back to our HTTP data service. Now here we want to unit test these two methods. Get post list which will help us to get the list of posts and add post which will add post to our given dummy data service. For unit testing these two methods I have already written an HTTP data service spec.ts. Now in this spec file I have already included HTTP client testing module which will be helping us to test our HTTP request and HTTP testing controller. These two are added from Angular's testing part that is at the rate angular comma HTTP slash testing. Then I have also included our HTTP data service. Then I have created two variables. First is created for HTTP testing controller and the second is created for the HTTP data service. This is the HTTP data service that we have created to get the information of the post and the addition of post. Then a simple test bed configuration is written in which here the important part is in the imports I have imported the HTTP client testing module and in the providers I have mentioned the HTTP data service. Then in the next before each I have created the instances of the HTTP data service and assign them to the data service variable that we have earlier created. Then I have also created the instance for the HTTP testing controller which is assigned to the HTTP test controller variable. Now this HTTP testing controller is injected by the HTTP client testing module. Hence we have not included it in our providers list. Now after this I am going to write the unit test Test our get post method. So I'm adding our first test case here. So this is our first test case, and in this one, we are going to check the HTTP client dot get method. So for this one, first step is to create the dummy data. So here I have created the test post variable, which is type of post model which holds the information regarding the post that we are going to get from our URL. So it is going to get ID, user ID, title, body, so this kind of information. Then I have called the get post list method using the data service variable that we had created earlier. And we have also subscribed to the observable that is coming out of this get post list method. And here in this observable, we are returning the dummy posts and we are going to expect that the test posts are equal to the posts that are returned from the request. So this is the basic setup that we have created but this subscribe will not be triggered at this point. It will be triggered at later point in our test. Then the next step is HTTP test control dot expect one. So this expect one is going to send out a single request and going to expect the output from it. And this is going to send out the, the request to the following URL. So the data service dot base URL and plus the post. So this base URL is the URL defined in the HTTP data service which in terms contains the address 
of the website json placeholder which we are going to call so here we are going to call the json placeholders post information then our request is not going to be triggered at this point it is going to be triggered later and this expect one method is going to return us the request object which is of type test request and this test request object will help us to trigger the http request after this we are going to expect request dot cancel so we are going to check whether this request is cancelled or not which will be false why because we have not returned anything that will cancel the request and we are going to expect the request dot response type is json so by default the response type of the http request is json hence it is going to check whether the response type is json or not we can configure the response type as we want then the last step is of execution of the flush method now as already discussed the flush method will resolve by returning a body along with the http information so once this particular flush method is executed at this point it will return the test post the dummy data that we had configured earlier and it will also return us some http information now once this flush method is executed the subscribe of the get post list method will be executed as well and here it is going to check the test post that is this dummy data is equal to the data that is returned by our request now both the data will be the same hence this request will be executed successfully now this is the same pattern that we will be using throughout our testing now let's just save this request and see what is the our output now our test is executed and here on the browser you can see should test http client dot get is executed successfully so this is how you can unit test the http clients get method now here we have only one unit test case for testing the http client dot get but in actual scenario there will be multiple test cases which will be testing our http request and we have to make sure that none of the http requests that are sent out from our unit test case remain outstanding now that can be done using http control dot verify so this particular method will ensure that there are no unmatched requests are outstanding and if any of the request is outstanding it will be failed indicating that the request was not handled usefulness of this method is that so all the outstanding methods will be taken care of now you can put this method here in each test case or we can add a after each so that the all the outstanding requests are handled so i'm going to write a after each here and i'm going to add it before unit test case once it is added we can have multiple unit test cases testing our http request and after each unit test case is completed after each will ensure that all the outstanding requests are handled by using the verify method of http testing controller then we are going to test the post request so i'm going to add a unit test case here and the pattern for testing the post request will be similar to the one that we had dealt using the get method so in this case i have added a simple test case here and here i have created a new post a post model object which will contain sample information regarding id user id title and the body of our post now in this one i have again added data service here i have added add post and pass the new post information and also subscribe to the response that is returned from the request sent to the json placeholder website now here the return request is expecting an added post and i'm going to expect the added post to be equal to the new post then using the http test controller we are going to expect one that means we are going to expect that a only one request is sent and a response is returned as well so we are here creating a test request object which will help us to resolve the request then the next is 
I am again checking whether the request is cancelled. So it will be false. And again checking the response time, which will be JSON as by default. Now the request dot flush. This will help me to resolve the request and return the object with the HTTP information. And in this case, I am returning new post. Once this test case is executed, what happens is that at the point of flush, a request will be sent. And as soon as it is sent, it will return the new post and it will be coming to this subscribe part. And in the subscribe, it is going to check whether the returned object is same as the new post object that was sent. I'm going to save this one and let's look it on the browser. Our second test case that is the should add post and return the added post is executed successfully. And the third unit test case will be to check what happens or to handle the errors returned from our request. So I'm going to write another test case here. This is another test case that I have written. And in this one, we are going to check what happens when the 404 error is encountered. Now, here I have already created an error message. So, mock 404 error occurred. And in the data service dot get post list dot subscribe, I have here added the data and in this one I have added a function called fail. Now this will explicitly mark the given request as failed. Now once the request fails, it will come to the error form. So when we are subscribing, we are actually subscribing to an observer. It is an object which contains three functions: next, error, and complete. Now, out of those three functions, we have used two only. First is the next that will help us to get the data. But in this one, we are failing the request. Then the request will move to the error function, which will accept a HTTP error response. Now, this response represents the error of or the failure of the HTTP request. That means our HTTP request has failed. Now in this one, I'm going to check expect error dot status. That means I'm going to expect that error dot status is 404. And the second is going to check error dot error. Now this error is actually representing the message. The error message is equal to the error message that we have already sent. Then as usual, we are creating a expect one, which is returning a test request object. And here in the flush method, the error message is added. Along with that, we have added some more information. So that is the status and the status text. Now here, this is the header part of our HTTP request. Now in this one, I have already set the status as 404. Hence, these two expect will be executed successfully. I'm going to save this one. And let's see what is the outcome on the browser. Now, our third and last test case should test 404 error is executed successfully. This is how the HTTP requests are handled and unit tested using Jasmine and Kerman. I hope you have understood this video. Please provide me comments to improve on my video and do subscribe. Thank you.